Hey there folks, this is Josh, Stony Ridge Farmer. Welcome back to the farm. Today we're back in the shop. Nasty cold weather again has us back in the shop. There's not a whole lot going on out on the farm. It's all muddy, it's all nasty. So we're gonna be working on a knife restoration video today. And I'm gonna show you the knife we're gonna restore right here. This is an old crusty deer bone knife. I don't know what the brand is. It was given to me by a man whose father passed away. The same man that we bought the $100 pickup truck from. So today we're going to do a restoration on this knife. We're going to get it back shiny. We've got some new tools and I'm going to show you the sharpest knife that I have ever had in my hand. This is an LT Wright knife. It's a special edition from Logox. It's a really cool knife. And if you use the promo code Josh at checkout, if you go to logox.com and use the promo code Josh at checkout, you will get 10 bucks off, I do believe. So come along on the farm vlog today. We're going to have some fun playing with these knives. Check this thing out. It's called a bushcraft knife. Cool. Let's have some fun playing with knives. We got some new tools. We went over to Harbor Freight Tool and we got a nice polishing wheel and a polishing wheel or grinder stand. We're going to put all that stuff together and we're going to make an ugly knife pretty again. All right. Woo! First things first, we need to walk you around the shop a little bit and show you what's all around us here. If this is your first time to the channel, please pound that like button, subscribe to the channel. There's a lot of fun stuff going on here on the farm. It's not only farm and homesteading stuff, we're doing some stuff in the garage and the shop. This is our 87 Buick Grand National, 96,000 original miles, very, very nice ride. Over here on the other side of the shop is the Willys Jeep. This is the 52 Willys Jeep and we're waiting on more parts for it. We've been working on trying to get this thing started for days days and days and days. It just seems like it's never going to start, but I promise you, we're going to do a full ground up restoration on this Jeep. It's going to be super duper cool. Let's start talking about knives and having some fun with some new tools. So we're going to use the old knife to open these boxes up. I guess the first thing we're going to open up is going to be the stand. This is a heavy duty bench grinder pedestal. It's available at Harbor Freight and you can get them on Amazon also. I'll post a link down below. All these goodies, I'll post links down below for you in case you want to pick yourself up some cool tools. All right, cool. So basically just unboxing parts here. This is a heavy duty cast iron pedestal and I bought two of them because I have a grinder and I have a polisher. So I want to be able to use my grinder, my grinding wheels, my grinding brushes or brush wheels. And I want to be able to use my polisher so we can pull it out when we need it and put it back in the corner when we don't. Tool storage is a huge thing when you have a small shop like this. We are in a 26, I say small shop, this is a 26 by 40. But man, you fill a shop this size up really quickly. The time you put a couple cars in here, you don't have room to move at all. So let's get this thing unwrapped and we'll put it together. So if you buy one of these pedestals for yourself, it comes with a bottom like this and it has three nuts in there or bolts, excuse me. And those bolts are used to hold the stand up. This guy, this piece of pipe. So we'll undo the 9 16 bolts. I know this stuff is bound to be made in China, but they're using American bolts. Makes me proud, baby. <laughs> we'll put this guy on loosely. Then this piece basically is for a tray, a little work tray. So we'll slide this guy on loosely also, and we'll put our little cast iron work tray in here. So I guess this will hold drill bits and grinding wheels and all that fun stuff. We'll find something to put in there for sure. And that just sits in like that. And then the pedestal itself, this is where you mount your grinder to. And that bolt is in there a little bit tighter. There we go. We'll loosen that guy up and just sit him right there. Pretty simple, pretty easy, nice. That took 40 seconds to assemble. Awesome. Let's unbox this six inch buffer we picked up. Now this knife that we're gonna restore here, it's still 
fairly sharp, but we're going to see if we can put a razor edge on it like this knife right here. I'm going to do a little demonstration of how sharp this thing is in a second and how sharp this thing is. And then when we get done, we'll see what the difference is. All right. I'm not going to sharpen it before I hit it with the buffer and the grinder. So six inch buffer, papers, don't need them. It buffs six inches. Oh, there we go. Styrofoam and assembly required. Okay, flippy flippy. Flippy flip. Styrofoam. Our styrofoam friends out of here. Okay, nice. Got some bolts and hardware and nuts and fun stuff. Ooh, let's get that out of the box. Move this stuff off to the side. We probably should read a little bit of the instruction manual, maybe for assembly purposes. Hard buffing wheel goes on one side, soft buffing wheel goes on the other side. Pretty much, that's it. Ooh, nice, nice. Going to get lots of use out of this thing on the farm. I'm excited for use for restorations and shining stuff up. I love making rusty, crusty stuff nice and shiny. So far as I can tell, this comes with two bushings. The bushings slide onto there. And we're going to wipe this off. It's got some grease that was on there from packaging. This guy off a little bit. Really thick grease on there. Okay, we'll do the other side too. It's like, uh, I don't know, it's like butter. Slip our buffing wheels, and this is what they are. It's just basically cotton pads. Um, so we slip one of these on, with the cup facing in that direction, and then we slide on our buffing wheel, and then we put the cup like that. So opposite. And then we put a nut on the end. It is reverse threaded. Cool. Good to know. Then we do the other side exact same way. So you got a shim or bushing. And that guy goes on. Okay. Then your buffing wheel or cotton buffing wheel. That's the hard buffing wheel. That goes on. Then another one of these cups, like so, just like that, and then tighten that guy up. Nice. That one is not reverse threaded. So the one on the right is regular th threads, and the one on the left is reverse threaded, which totally makes sense so that it doesn't come loose while rotating. Nice. Before we do our initial startup, I want to show you all the stuff that I got to restore this knife. So I got some sanding sponges so we can sand on that blade a little bit, get it all prettied up nice. If I can get one out, there you go. Um, I also got a 12 pack of steel wool. So we'll probably hit it with the sanding sponges first and then we'll hit it with a little steel wool. And then for polishing, I got two grades of polishing compound. I got the black and the gray. So it says right here, the gray is a fast cut compound and it's used to prevent light scratches and restore natural look to copper, brass, stainless steel, and aluminum. And this hard metal compound is an aggressive compound used on iron, steel, and other metal to remove rust, corrosion, scratches, and burrs. So most likely we'll start with this and we'll work our way to that and we'll turn that old crusty nasty blade into something really really cool we've got the bench down here all lit up and we're going to show you what these knives can do so this is the lt right knife this is the knife that we're going to be working on <laughs> and here's the lt right Man, that knife is sharp. Beautiful, beautiful knife. If you're a knifeophile or your husband's a knifeophile like me, I just love a beautiful knife. That thing is just glistening right there. So let's get busy and let's make this one as sharp as that one.
this is our problem area right in here. But I'm pretty confident the buffer will do a great job. And look how nice that shined up right there. All right, let's try our new buffer. Our stand is still over here, but we cannot mount the buffer to it because we don't have the right stuff to mount our buffer to it. We don't have the nuts and bolts. So the first thing we need to do is apply some polishing compound to our buffer. So we're gonna go ahead and unwrap our polishing compound. This is the soft one and this is the hard one. So we're gonna use the soft buffing compound on the soft one and the hard buffing compound on the hard one. So we're gonna go ahead and basically just apply this right to the buffing wheel, just like so. There we go. And then we'll go on the other side with the more powerful buffing compound and we're making a big mess of dust here. It's funny. I just washed the Grand National over there. There we go. Good. If you buy one of these new, expect to get a little bit of dust uh, that comes off at first. So we're gonna go ahead and get the knife and start on this. Actually, we're gonna start on the hard one and then we're gonna work our way to the soft one. So we'll rotate this buffing wheel. Oh yeah. She's gonna polish out very, very nicely. I haven't used one of these since high school. Nice, it's shining up good. You can see that, but I've still got some discoloration I'd like to get rid of right in there. Get that top edge nice. I'm gonna polish one entire side first and then polish the other side. All right, we've rotated around to the other side, to the softer side, and we're gonna go ahead and start working on getting it the final polish done before we go to the sharpener. All right, this so far is the result. Doing a great job. There's still some pitting, but I'm not gonna spend 10 hours doing this. I wanna make it pretty and enjoy it. And I think that's pretty nice. We're gonna go ahead and polish this end up nice, and we'll go from there. I think that end polished up beautifully. Very, very, very pretty. Really happy. All right, all you purists that love the whetstone, you're gonna be rolling your eyes, but this is a whetstone. There are three whetstones in here. This is the Chef's Choice 151. This is what I use in my house to sharpen my knives. And this is gonna to prove to you that it's a great knife sharpener and it does a wonderful job. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. This thing is dull, 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 dull. There are three different settings on this thing. There's a coarse wheel, there's a medium wheel, and there's a fine wheel. And basically, we'll show you how we drag it through each one of the wheels real quick. And we're gonna get this thing sharp. Now, I don't think it's gonna get as sharp as that LT right knife, but we'll see. So this is the Chef's Choice 151, and here's our knife. Much, much, much better than it was. Very pretty, especially all these accents on it. And I even polished the antler handle. Awesome. So let's start this thing up and we'll start grinding on it. So it is dull, super duper dull right now. The most important part is doing this even. <laughs> and I just didn't do it. There we go. You can hear the irregularities in the blade right there. Nice and smooth on that side. Nice and smooth on that side. We're getting there. This is the coarse blade. You'll hear the difference in the sound when we get to the finer blade. You just need to drag it through an even number of times. 
All right, and you can already see we're starting to get an edge on there. You can see the reflection of that edge looking good. We've still got a few little spots that we need to address, so we're going to continue to run through the course probably 10 more times each side. Slow, even strokes. So now we've rebuilt an edge on here, and you can see that edge shining right there. We've rebuilt the edge, and it looks pretty even to me, so we're going to move on to the medium grit. And when you're first using this on a new knife, you're basically changing the pitch of the blade. So it may take a little extra work, but once you get your knives nice and sharp with this tool, about once every two months, you'll just run them through. So let's move on to our fine cut. You can hear the difference in the noise. Just a light hum. It's basically polishing that edge off. It's going to look really good. Hopefully it's going to be sharp. Oh yeah, she's sharpening up very, very nicely. I think we're ready. I think we're ready for the paper challenge. So the camera lens is covered with fuzz. The Buick, the black Buick. Guys, black cars are so hard to keep clean. It is absolutely covered with little fuzzies from <laughs> that little cotton wheel spinning. This thing is nice. This blade sharpened up and shined up beautifully. It just looks so wonderful. So let's give it the test. The LT write test, the Log Ox LT write test, a piece of paper. Man, that's a testimony to that knife sharpener. We took a turd of a knife and made it as sharp almost as that LT write knife. Guys, if you want to pick yourself up an awesome bushcraft knife, check out logox.com you can pick yourself up one of these bushcraft knives and a bushcraft knife i guess i googled it because i really didn't know what a bushcraft knife is and maybe one of you guys can leave a comment and tell me what the definition is but it's basically a survival knife so it comes with this thing so you can make your sparks so you can start a fire it's also designed so that you can split wood with it. So basically it has a really strong back on it and you can smack it down through wood and split wood and start a fire. And you can also do this. You can make tinder. So tinder meaning this, this little stuff, those little shavings that you can shave off of wood to get your fire started. These little shavings right here, that's what the back of this blade is designed for. Pretty cool. I did not know about bushcraft knives. Nice. Well guys, I think you can tell by the mess on the table that we had a good time. I'm fairly impressed with the relatively inexpensive buffing wheel. I didn't mount it to the stands. I unboxed two different stands, so we'll put our grinder on one stand and our buffer on another stand. It's gonna be pretty cool. If you guys wanna pick up a Log Ox limited edition knife, go to logox.com. All kinds of good tools for the woodsman to bring wood into his house and to save his back. So it's a pretty cool company. Use the promo code Josh before Valentine's Day this year. This is 2019. Otherwise, thanks a lot for joining me here on the Stony Ridge Farm. I got a car. I've got to clean all the dust off of. I think I'm going to order one of those California dusters so I can wipe it off. It is just covered with fuzz. <laughs> thanks a lot, guys. I enjoyed it. Spending the day with you. Come on back and see me here on the Stony Ridge Farm. All right? Woo! Land of the free and the home of the brave. I'm proud of who I am and I'm proud of what I made on the Stony Ridge. Woo!